Hangouts near video tutorial set by here on this window is where you enter your Gmail email address that's used for your YouTube uploads and your blogger, blog creation and posts. Also where you enter your Tumblr email address and password. Here you also have the option to post to our VCN network which is our high authority self-hosted video network. You can choose to post to blogger yes or no and choose to post a blogger, yes or no. Down here we have three different options for broadcasting to Hangouts. Hangout High Quality uses the screen share feature in Google Hangouts and that offers the highest quality broadcasting of your video data. The low quality uses the webcam drivers it's a little bit faster but the quality isn't quite as high as using the screen capture and lastly we have the option to upload directly to YouTube that's by far the fastest option and you generally use that if you want to create a whole bunch of quick links to say hangout videos you've got at the top of page two and you want to get them to page one so you grab the, the URLs from those videos put them in the description of videos you create and pump them up quick to YouTube and the next day they'll be on page one. All this data is stored in your profile obviously and you click next to save it. And here's an important tip while using the Hangout High Quality as I mentioned previously we use the screen share option in Hangouts so what that does is brings up this window here and it lists all the active windows you have. Our software has created a window called a video and that's the window that broadcasts your video to hangouts so it needs to locate that the tip is not to have way too many active windows happening particularly on slower computers so it makes it easy for the software to navigate down and find this if for any reason the software can't locate this window i would uh, close a couple of active windows while the software is looking for this window, it takes under 10 seconds. I will just leave that window as it is without touching the keyboard or mouse until it finds it. The software then clicks on start screen share. This window disappears and you can continue on with your work. So that's about it. See you in the next video tutorial.